Hey everyone, this is Kibo back at ya. And today I'm gonna show you how to find S Class fighters in pure white. And there are awesome ones, and we got quite a few to check out. So, if there's a chance someone from Hello Games is watching, please give us more than six ships that we are able to keep. Come on, please. Let's hope that will help. <laughs> Also, I want to say thanks to all the people that subscribed to the channel, commented and watched the videos. You are truly awesome. That means a lot to me. Thanks for all the support. And for the new viewers, if you like these kind of videos, put a like on it and consider subscribing for more. We're gonna dive right into it, but before we do, for the new players to be able to jump to certain locations through portals like the one behind me, you will need all your 16 glyphs unlocked. There will be a link in the description for a video to help you with that, so just watch it real quick and come back. Okay, let's go! Hoop. Oh yeah! Okay, we arrived, so let's get inside our ship and fly to the space station real quick. Now, actually, there's two ways to get a fighter as an S-Class. Now I'm gonna show you the first one. So let's land and reload our autosave. Okay, now just left to wait for the first wave to arrive. Same as exotics, you just need to stay still for 45 seconds without moving. And that will trigger the first wave of four or five ships. I'm gonna speed things up for you. And there she is, look at that one. Oh my, this is the first ship that we are after. And this is an A-Class with 38 by 12, almost 50 mil unit. What a nice drop. Don't worry, all the details with the information is gonna be next. As you can see, we got an A-Class. It's not that hard to obtain. It is a rich system that gives you a better chances to get high class ships. And that goes for every ship you will see today. They are all from rich systems. So the first option is to go to this scrapping station. I need to be careful on how fast I say that word. <laughs> And here you got the option to upgrade every ship to an S-Class. It's gonna cost you nanites. The price is gonna pop right now on the screen. And if you're short on nanites, let me help you make it easy by scrapping first wave exotics. All you need to know is in the video that's gonna pop in the description right now. So you can check that out as well. Okay, now we got an S-Class fighter ship this way. And there is a second way to find a wild S-Class. So let me show you. You're gonna need to find a trading post. The best way to find trading posts is with the economy scanner. And how do you get the economy scanner? Just go to the anomaly, to the starship merchant, and it will be an upgradable blueprint that you can acquire with nanites. Not a big amount, just install it in your ship and now you got one, let's keep going. And to activate it, you will want to enter the quick menu when you're inside the ship. I'm on PC so I press X, I go left and up and you can see the option to scan for trading posts. So let's activate it and we're gonna see where it's gonna take us. So let's warp fast over there and you can land your ship on the side if you think it's gonna mess with the spawning of the ships. I think it's good either way, but it's your call. Okay, so just stand on top of the building, place a save beacon. We're gonna need two metal plating for that. There you go. Okay, now let's make a manual save and reload. I could swear I heard a squid ship. Well, look at that orange one. Nice to know. So there's a squid ship here if you want to pick one for yourself. Let's continue. And now you're probably asking why trading posts and not the space station. The answer is on trading posts, the cycle of the spawning and the arrival of ships is way faster. And it's specific to certain ships. You see like every trading post in this system 
will spawn in a different order from the other ones. So if you want a specific ship, look for the trading post that has it in the first wave of 4 or 5 ships. That will make it a lot faster to get the specific ship you want is an S class. Ok now the hunt begins, it will take some time till the wild S class will be found. Ok so see you in a bit. One eternity later. Let me have a look, oh my god there it is, oh yeah, S class. It's a perfect S class, just took me like 50 reloads. <laughs> At least we got what we want. Now why I call it a wild S class? Let me just explain, cause same as the exotics, a wild one will have a specific stats for every different one. Like every time you reload in an exotic, a different one with a different stats on it will arrive same as the wild s class every time you will meet one it will be with a different stats on it and not like the upgraded one like we upgraded before that will have the same stats for this ship for everyone that will go and upgrade it i hope it was helpful for you now i will leave you to an awesome collection of pure white fighters so do enjoy <laughs>